Hi, Haley. So your question is drawing the S cis and S trans conformation of this particular compound, 2E4Z2-methyl-2,4-octadiene. So this S cis and S trans is slightly different than just a simple cis and trans alkene, which we're used to seeing, which we're used to seeing a cis alkene like this, right? A trans alkene like this. S cis and S trans is terminology we use in regards to dienes. So two pi bonds separated by one single sigma bond. So what we might see are uh, the sigma, or the, excuse me, the pi bonds on opposite sides. This would be known as an S trans, okay? And this would be where our uh, pi bonds are on opposite sides of the sigma, or we might see a S cis. All right, so these configurations are not particularly locked in, but because of the uh, overlap of the p orbitals, there is some sort of energy hump that needs to be overcome in order for these to interchange, okay? So just keep in mind that these do not freely rotate between each other. We know that, I know that most of your professors have probably told you that sigma bonds have free rotation. Right, so in this case, this sigma bond does not freely rotate, okay? We will tend to prefer the trans uh, isomer of this, but that's something that maybe your textbook can be described a little bit more. Your question is specifically about this uh, compound. So octadiene is five carbons. The diene is the two pi bonds, and those two pi bonds show up at two and four. So it's going to start at carbon 2 to carbon uh, 3 and carbon 4 to carbon 5. So let's draw one of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8 carbons. Here's carbon 2. So this is my very first pi bond. Second pi bond at carbon 4. So carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, whenever we start the pi bond, we always start with the carbon that is given in the number, and we go carbon two, three is our first pi bond, and again, second pi bond, carbon four, five is our second pi bond. All right, this would be the trans uh, S, so the S trans. And let's make sure we're putting in our other, um, our other aspects of the molecule here. So we want two methyl, so we want a methyl on two. Okay, and we want two E. So this compound should be two E, which is slightly impossible because there's no E or Z here. And four Z, so we want Z to be, um, what is that? Z is cis, so we want this to be cis. So this one actually needs to be rotated in order for us to get what we want. Um, uh, or this needs to be rotated. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go, our two methyl. Oh, excuse me, I just did the exact same thing. My apologies. One, two, three, four, five. We want this. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we still have a trans um, diene, right? In that this is the diene. But our four to five alkene is cis. So we want this to be cis and this to be trans. Though technically you should double check with your professor because there is no way that this could be trans, right? Because if we're looking at the left side of our molecule, there's no priority group here. These are tied. So there's no E or Z confirmation here. Only this one will have an E or Z, all right? So again, this one is gonna be uh, S trans. And then if we wanna do S cis, Bum, bum, bum. And then we have to go up here because we want our dienes to be cis. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And remember, we want this pi bond to be cis as well. So this needs to come in six, seven, eight. 
All right, so this one looks a little wonky, but I promise this is S cis. Okay, and the reason we call this cis is again, we're looking at the diene. So here we go, these are on the same side. The pi bonds are both forming this kind of like C or U formation. Meanwhile, for S trans, we have this kind of Z formation. Again, Z does not mean trans, but it just looks Z. Whenever I think of E, I think ET phone home, E for trans, <laughs> and then Z, I think cis, zis. Okay, so if you need a mnemonic, that's your new mnemonic. And again, these are the two structures for, I would say, let's get rid of this 2E because that doesn't make sense in this context. 4Z, 2-methyl, 2,4-octadiene. I hope that's helpful, Haley. All right. If you have any questions, I would double check with your instructor about this particular component of the name. And good luck with the rest of your semester.